Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details here, and I am going to be doing my first maintenance wash on my experiment with the IGL uh, Quartz Plus plus DPC Shield and QP on 2.0. You can see I have driven through the rain. The car is extremely dirty. Go ahead, rinse this off, foam it up with the film buster, and I want to show you guys what kind of um, water activity we have as far as with getting clogged up um, from dirt, things like that, just a comparison. And then we're going to go ahead, wash it dry, and then take a look at our water activity then. So let's get into it. So right off the bat, you can see that our front hood that was topped with shield, you can see that it is beating nicely and that it is wanting to sheet, which is the, uh, the main premise behind shield, is that when you flood the panel, it tries to sheet dry. So you can see it is doing exactly that. Let's take a look at our QP on 2.0 panel, but with before we've washed it. So you can see, not quite as hydrophobic, it's sheeting rather than beading, and it is normally a, a kind of an extreme hydrophobic uh, beater. So we're going to go ahead and see what the water activity is after we wash it to compare. So here's our one panel that also has shields, so you can kind of see um, most often times these lower panels when you drive through dirt these are the ones that are going to get clogged up the fastest especially on a ceramic coated vehicle so let's see what we have going on here now you can see because it is shield and it is a sheeting ceramic coating it is wanting to sheet Let's take a look at over here with our IGL Quartz Plus. This is straight up IGL Quartz with nothing on top. Alright, you can see extreme beating. So we're going to go ahead and rinse off the rest of this vehicle. We're going to foam it up with our foam buster, wash it off, and then see what kind of hydrophobic difference we have once we've removed the residue. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to do that off screen because I have a uh, shorter day. I'm taking the kids to the pool, y'all, but I needed to wash the car because it was driving me nuts. So we're going to go ahead, rinse the rest of the vehicle, foam it, wash it, and I'll come back when we're ready to kind of examine the uh, foam buster. That is all ideal for. This is our panel that is coated with DPC shield. See the sheeting? It's really impressive. You actually don't have a high amount of beads reducing your risk of sunspots. Let's do this real quick. Let's 
go ahead. This is our QP on panel right here. Interesting. It is sheeting. Slowly, but sheeting. Right, let's do this with the key field. Watch how the water is just sheeting at a very fast pace right off the panel. And then over here, let's do our window. These are our ideal cord panels again. So here's our QP on panel after washing. And you can see that it is sheeting. Not bad. Let's see how it's sheeting compares it to the DPC sheet. That's impressive. That panel is probably 75% dry. Let's see our IGL quartz plus this is straight up. So I know that this isn't necessarily the most conclusive. We're just kind of seeing what the water behavior looks like after washing. Let me actually dry this panel off and just make sure there's no residue from our soap. And then we'll see what the water behavior looks like again. Let's go ahead and do this just so we don't have some spots. this. We'll just do a fair comparison. We'll dry them all. Make sure there's no residue. And then see what our water activity looks like. Alright, so all of those are dry. Let me grab my water. And let's see. Great shading. sheeting fast sheeting and then feeding so I hope you guys enjoy just kind of after I know there's not a lot of videos that follow up I just wanted to show you guys that I would say the QP on is definitely not performing the way that I anticipated it is still sheeting but I actually would think that DPC Shield is handling, you know, the driving environments and, and different things that are, are coming at it from the road film and rain and debris. It is handling it a little bit better than the QP on 2.0. You can still see, you know, where we've got mist and things like that. It is beating. In fact, let me try something real quick. If we were to take the pressure nozzle off, give me one second, that's hard to do, and just flood the panel. Let's compare the two real quick. Try to watch. You can see shield is sheeting faster. So I I have known QP on 2.0 to be more of a beating product, not sheeting. Mind you, I am kind of flooding the panel. But if its performance is going to turn to more of a sheeting product then I would say shield has the advantage. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna dry this vehicle off before we get some spots and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video, but thanks for watching.